God bless you, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining us so much. You know, Resplendency is a community that is just so respects the presence of God, and we rely on the Holy Spirit every single day. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And this next episode, we're going to be talking about, but in every situation. So in every situation, and I want you to know that, you know, we're giving here biblical encouragement, okay? Uh, we're not licensed, uh, you, know, pro- you know, professionals or anything. We are pastors and we're giving you biblical encouragement. That's right. Everything from the word of God. But I do like that, t- that, that title, but in every situation. Yeah. So my folded arms, what do we do in every situation? <laughs> well, we, have to, we have to read the word of God, right? Thank you. <laughs> Well, we're going to turn here, and it's important that you guys also turn in your Bibles. Um, you know, make sure you follow us because this is His Word that we're reading from. Philippians 4, verses 6 to 7 tells us Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, here we go, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. So what are we doing? Before I read verse Mm 7, God is saying in every situation, he knows our hearts are going to be troubled. He knows our hearts can weigh us down. We can become anxious and fearful. Life definitely can throw us some things that, you know what, we can become very overwhelmed by and burdened over. But he says, but in every situation, by prayer what by talking to the lord bringing it to god and petition which means that's going to be something we're continually talking to him about it's not just a quick what we call popcorn prayer that's right right (laughs) it's not just thank god for this food and keep going god meet my need keep going no, this is a petition. God, I petition you. I I appeal to you. I'm I'm asking of you, Lord. Right? So in every situation, by prayer and petition, this is the other part very important with thanksgiving. That's right. Right? That's right. We have to be a thankful people as we do this, present the request to God. There's something powerful about that thanksgiving. You know, when you become, because, you know, one of the things that I wanted to share in regarding to this, why would we say, you know, about the the Bible says, do not be anxious about everything. I think that anxiousness, as you and I were talking, you said it's a weight. It's a weight. It's real. It's a real heavy weight. Yes. And the situations that we all Mm -hmm. love God, Mm -hmm. we do. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, we are still sinful. So that's why sometimes we get anxious, mm-hmm. but the Bible gives us instructions. And you know, I, even with that though, mm-hmm. like um, I think it's the part of knowing that because of, and he knows that there are things that are going to make us anxious. We're going to be afraid. We're going to be, uh, it's this uncertainty over mm-hmm. the circumstance. So, um, you know, outside of just who we are, something that is beyond yourself can be very fearful. Yes. But that's why it takes faith. Yes. Right? It does. It takes faith to walk with God. It takes faith to bring everything to God. Correct. Right? Correct. You know, before I continue, I want to read this in the New Living Translation. Mm -hmm. It says, do not worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds everything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. So this is the promise. Mm -hmm. This peace that comes to the heart and to the mind is in Christ Jesus. Correct. So outside of Christ Jesus is this uncertainty and lack of peace. Because see, the thing is that when we put our trust in Jesus, 
he is the most powerful and 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 he knows all things and he will present our request to God. He appeals to God on our behalf. He's fighting for us. So he wants us to have a sustaining peace. Correct. Not just a superficial peace that, oh, that feels good. Oh, I feel so good right now. You know, thank you, Lord. I'm in your presence. I feel that's awesome. Yes. But what about when you don't feel that? That's right. You know, what about when you don't feel that? He wants us to be reassured that he gives us a sustaining peace, a peace that passes the natural yes. understanding. And it's the promise that comes from him that it guards the heart. Yes, it does. Because from the heart flows all kinds of things. That is correct. Including being anxious. Yes. And I, I, I love it because, I mean, when you are reading that, I, I just keep thinking about it. It's, it's awesome. I mean, I have to go back to the Word of God. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, mm -hmm. what, what is it about with thanksgiving? Mm -hmm. You know, when you think about thanksgiving, ladies and gentlemen, it puts your focus more on what you do have and not on what you do not have. Thankfulness, it actually, it does something to your mind. It just, your whole focus becomes, okay, yes, we're talking about, it says, do not be anxious. And we know about anxiousness, ladies and gentlemen, because, you know, when those feelings, those anxious feelings do come, unfortunately, it's sometimes that we choose to open up that door to begin thinking about those things too much. And we have to ask the Lord, help. And that's exactly what he says. When he said help, he says what? Present your request to God with thanksgiving. So he's saying that although you may have those feelings, God is saying, talk to Jesus. And keep Ladies, on. Remember and keep the, on. Remember that was the petition part. Exactly. You keep talking to him. So, you know, sometimes you may feel like I did talk to him. Mm hmm I don't want to, I feel bad. I feel like I have to keep talking. He, he wants you to keep talking to so him. So here's an example. When we have but spoken to him. with thanksgiving. Right. You're so right on. Because of what you're saying is that individuals, let's say we have spoken to many individuals and they said, yeah, I did pray, but I'm still think, or I'm still anxious, or I'm still, we respect of that course. 100%. Absolutely. But let's talk about truth here. The truth is that those feelings do come and we choose to consistently open that door to consistently look, think about those things, right? And that's why they occur over and over. But the Bible is saying continually. It's a, to, to continue. I, I love what the talking scripture says. It Keep says here, by him. prayer and petition, thanks to present your requests plural mm -hmm. to God. Yeah. So it's almost like you can continue doing and the peace of God. So if you're saying, oh, I did pray, but yet I'm still having that. How about you saying, okay, though you may have those feelings, how about you praying again? And if those feelings come again, you pray again. And if it's happened, you pray again. You just keep on combating this thing. This thing is a battle. But also mm -hmm. with Thanksgiving. That's yes. the part that we don't want you to leave out. Which means what? I'm able to say, God, even in the midst of what I'm suffering right now, mm -hmm. and it's a, it's it's affecting the way I'm seeing life, I'm going to be thankful that I have you, Lord. That's right. I'm going to be thankful that you're helping me to get through the day. And there's something yes. about the, that perspective of knowing I can say to God, my focus is going to remain on you, God, and not on what I'm, what I'm going through. Yes, the circumstance and, and the way I feel keeps reminding me <laughs> of what I've been overwhelmed with. But at the same time, I'm going to be thankful mm -hmm. because I know that I have you, my Redeemer. And you know, the thing about the Lord, he says, I will counsel you with my own eye. He counsels us. He, the Bible says he teaches us in the way we should go. And those are those are things that come because why? We keep talking to him. But see, when we're talking to Jesus, we have to also know how to lay it down. 
So in prayer and petition and thanksgiving, it's also a submitting. It's also an, a prayer teaches you how to submit to God. Like what that means was it is like I'm surrendering and I'm mm -hmm. giving this to you, God. Not like after you prayed, now I'm taking it right back because I can't think about anything else. No, I gave it to you, God. And I'm going to leave this now. In like your some hands. individuals say, you know, sometimes I just need to vent or I just needed someone to talk to and I need to tell mm -hmm. them absolutely 100 percent but god is a person too he's he's god you know it's god the father god the son god the holy spirit prayer is not just telling god what you need prayer is communion with god you're building a relationship with god so you are being able to tell him like if you sit down wherever you are and you're thinking about it and you may open your eyes or, you know, respectfully you close your eyes. You say, Lord, for this. And you just pour out your heart because you're communing with, you're communing with him. And there's a time for you to be still and know that he is God and hear what his instructions are. And he may tell you, go to Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7, and you're going to continuously, continuously, just constantly, constantly go to Him, change your focus on what you have than what you do not have, mm -hmm. which Thanksgiving will do. And it says, ladies and gentlemen, Also, be that thankful the... about what's to come, mm -hmm. right? Because if you're being, if you're anxious about what you're going through, God also wants us to be, by faith, to be thankful. Right. This will pass. Correct. I will get through this. And that's, and so what it, that's, that's exactly faith. what it does. That's faith. That's exactly what it does. It brings you back to faith. And that's why it says, you know, the peace of God will come. Mm -hmm. yep. Because your focus is is changed your mind is not on those situations but your mind begins to be with thankfulness and your transference of of of, of being anxious it becomes becomes faith because mm -hmm. your focus is now on god mm -hmm. so and that's so important. It, it is such so an vital. important thing. As a believer. It, this is an everyday battle. Every day. Every moment. And every time, hour especially sometimes. Especially the times we're living in. Exactly. That's why in every situation. In every. We don't know what the day holds. We don't know when, yes. we, when we leave our homes. We don't know what's going to happen in our homes. We don't know what's mm -hmm. going to happen at the workplace. We don't know what's going to happen maybe with our family. You know. In our own health. God knows. God yes. knows. That's why he says in every situation. And, and Psalm 55 verse 22 says, Give your burdens to the Lord and he will take care of you. He will not permit the godly to slip and fall. So when we're talking to Jesus mm -hmm. and we're giving him the burden, it's up to us now. Listen carefully. It's up to us to believe that he's going to take care of us. That's where That's faith comes faith. in. We, we really have to come to the conclusion in our minds that what we are doing, that saying, you know, the Bible says that in Psalm 55 verse 22. Believe it. When I go like this in my hand, I'm saying, just believe. We have to believe that. When he says, cast your burden on him. In the Amplified Version, it says, cast your burden on it and release yes, it. Let it. And go. he will sustain and uphold you. So in other words, you're not holding on to the thing, but you're casting your cares on him. And if you by faith begin to say, Father, give me faith to believe this, ask him. It's okay. But you have to really believe to say, Lord, I am giving it to you. Yes. And as I give it to you, I trust you to take care of of all of it. And the reason when all he says of it. when you say all of it. when you trust not, him for not all a of piece it, of it. That's right. All, all of it. And and don't go like, oh now looking, it didn't happen yet. No, mm -hmm. no, no. I trust you, Lord, to take care of it. Correct. That takes faith. The ending part of that verse in um in, in um Psalm fifty five verse twenty two it says he will never allow the righteous to be shaken, slip, fall, or fail. Amen. Because he cares. Amen. God cares he for us. He loves us. So in every situation, 
we present the request and we leave the burden in the hands of the Lord and we trust him right. to take care of it. Because ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna, we're gonna pray now because Respendency's mission is to consistently grow your personal relationship with Jesus Christ according to God's holy word and for you to stand out and shine for Jesus Christ. So let's pray. Father, we just thank you so very much for your grace and your mercy. And God, I thank you that every single person, O oh Lord, that their faith will be built up, that they will believe that they can cast all of their cares onto you. And when they do that, Lord, let them not take it back, but let them say, God, I, I, yes, those, those things that I may fa be facing are still there, but Lord, I know that you are still there. Mm -hmm. And God, yeah, what may seem impossible with man Jesus is not impossible with you. Amen. So Lord, I trust you. I know the situation may be there, but even more of the truth, you're the creator of the heavens and earth. You're the God of the impossible. God, I trust that when I cast my care upon you, that Lord, I can pray, I can commune with you, Lord, and I can give you all my burdens, oh Lord, and I will come to you, Lord, with thanksgiving, Amen. saying, Lord, I Thank you for what I have. I won't focus on what I do not have. Lord, I thank you and I give you praise and I give you glory and I give you honor, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray you bless every single person that's watching and listening right now that they, Lord God, will cast all their cares upon you. And Lord, may they, O oh Lord, just give their burdens to you with thanksgiving. They'll fill all their petitions, God. And may your peace that passes all understanding be restored to them. Be, oh God, just overwhelmingly to them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, we are so appreciative to every single one of you. We pray that you will subscribe to this channel drop a comment and share this channel with other individuals in Jesus' name. We pray that you'll join us on all of our social media. We love hearing from you. And I'm talking about from TikTok, Spotify, <laughs> just a variety of different, like, you know, Instagram, Twitter. We love hearing from every single one of you. And we want to say thank you so very much for your comments and keeping in touch with us. It's very important that you do so in Jesus' name. Remember our email, if you would like to talk to us and set up an appointment, to speak with us is contact at resplendency.com and we will gratefully reach back to you. Amen. We love you so very much. I want to thank those of you that follow me at Examine Moments and thank you for those that read my blogs on let's take a moment.com. Yes, I Such pray you guys honor. will be blessed by that in Jesus' name. And ladies and gentlemen, please don't forget to do this for the glory of God. Don't forget to Stand, Stand out, out and shine, shine for, Jesus for Jesus Christ. God bless you. We love you. God bless you.